Hello, this is Shane Thomas from WeekendHandicapper.com. Today I'd like to continue my handicapping fundamentals or the basic factors when it comes to handicapping horse races. And today's topic is trainers. One of the, one of the more important, in my opinion, factors that I use when I, every time that I handicap a horse race. Now the thing with trainers is you're going to have your super trainers, your big, well-known trainers that have huge barns with lots of horses and with high, they have a high winning percentage. But remember, in horse racing, we always want to look for value. And a lot of times those big name trainers have the most talented horses that win a lot but that doesn't necessarily mean they have the value. So what you want to get in the habit of doing is, is really researching and become pretty skilled at interpreting the trainer stats. In most of your premium past performance services, whether you use Brisnet or if you use the daily racing form, past performances or whoever you use, you want to kind of get used to seeing, really digging deep into those trainer stats because there's, there might be certain situations that produce a better return on investment or ROI. There might be certain races that, that produce a bigger price than others. And that's what you want to get used to looking for and finding. And that's how we find our value as it applies to trainers. Now, I have my own favorite trainers that I can pretty much depend on all the time. Some of them are big names. Some of them are flying under the radar that excel at certain situations. Like, for example, there's trainers that are really good getting their horses to come and fire right off a layoff. A long layoff, sometimes that puts a lot of bet betters, you know, makes them feel uneasy. But I'm confident when I have the stats to prove that certain trainers do really well once they when, they, when their horses come off a layoff, they get them prepared. It's just like a coach in a pro sport that you might like. It's the same thing. When can we get these athletes, in this case horses, to peak? at the right time. Are they ready for today's race or are they setting them up for races in the future? There's all kinds of factors, which to me is fascinating. It's very fascinating to study these trainer patterns to see if you can find any trends or any certain, certain patterns that these trainers excel in and what they don't excel in. Because it took me years you know, I would follow these big name trainers and be like, oh, so-and-so's got their horse in today's race. I'm going to bet that horse because it's an excellent trainer and it's an excellent jockey. All the more to bet that horse, right? Not all the time. Sometimes trainers bring horses in races to prepare them on down the road and get the jockey used, used to the, the horse. And it's all in a long-term plan. You know, just like when you bet horses, it's not, you can't just kind of see how well you're doing in each race or each day. You got to think long term over the course of months and a year or even years to see how well you do at handicap. So when it comes to trainers, they are very important. In my opinion, they're more important than jockeys. They get that horse in shape, ready for today's race or ready for races in the future. The key is you can love big name trainers all you want and they're wonderful and big race days definitely. But if you want to make money and profit from handicapping when, trainer angles, when it comes to handicapping trainers, you always want to look for certain situations that some trainers might fly under the radar and produce a large return of investment, a larger priced horse. Because 
Nine times out of ten, the general public will recognize a handful of trainers that are very well known and will bet that just for the simple fact. And they might win, but they won't win as much money as you will if you look for those discrepancies and those certain specific races and race conditions that those trainers produce a large ROI. Again, you can find these in the past performances, especially your premium past performances that list the stats and the overall win percentage and different categories that that trainer uh, produces. And hopefully in future videos, I'll break down a past performance and specifically where I'm looking at uh, trainer stats and trainer angles that can really pr produce some decent priced horses when it comes to handicapping. That, if you're going to play trainers, and you really should, because again, they're in charge of the horse, getting them in shape for today's race. And if you start familiarizing yourself with a certain trainers, whether they're at your local track or whatever circuit you follow, and you'll start seeing patterns, the way they work their horses out, the, how well they do in certain race conditions, what races that they don't do well in. All that can be found by studying past performances and trainer stats. So the next time you're at the track or you get online and you handicap, look for those trainer stats. See if you can decipher what places they're good at, what situations they're not so good at. See if you can kind of get in the head of these trainers and when you feel confident that they have their horse ready for a prime situation, that's when that factor can really pay dividends for you. So until next time, I'm Shane Thomas, WeekendHandicapper.com. Please subscribe to this channel. Check my website out, WeekendHandicapper.com. Uh, subscribe to my email list so you can get all the great resources that are, will be coming your way. Check me out, follow me on Twitter and all the social media outlets that we have. And until, and just remember, trainers are very important in my opinion. Study them, learn from them, and you'll be cashing more at the track. Take care.